Yo, what's going on, yo? So today I'm gonna show y'all how to build the Solaris. I've had a lot of people in my previous video ask for this. Whole lot of people. And uh, yes, we did reach 300 subs. I very well appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna waste any time today. I'm gonna get straight into it, but I'm gonna just showcase it for one more time for the new viewers. So let's get straight into it. All right, so you come in inside any one of the six outers. You got a locker with a bed, so total six. So if you want, you know, six players, you got it. Um, this outer TC is 3,000. So for a six man, I'd say this is a very, very, very sustainable upkeep. This is just one of the one of the three more expensive ones. The cheaper ones, I think, should be this one. Let's see. Boom, 2,000 upkeep. Yeah, it is a good thousand plus. But you have a total of three gate houses. So going into one of the three, just going into this one, you got these nice little peaks. You, you this window's optional, but you know I like to have it just just cause some people don't fuck me up. But you know. You got these overhead peaks just like this, you know what I'm saying? You got these under peaks that my custom gay house peaks, you know what I'm saying? You gotta fuck with it, use it, but it's obviously optional. But opening the garage door, you got two upper boxes just like this. These are for your depot boxes, and then you got a total of four or uh, two, four, six, six turrets around the whole compound. These do cover almost everything. Like if I'm right here, boom, I'm getting fucked right here. Only spots they don't cover is this, but a, a player that's in your compound is getting nowhere with these little little beds right here. So just letting you know. Now before we get further into it, you have these raised uh raised raised uh you know furnaces. If a raider does break these two walls, it's going to make it more challenging for raiders. I do recommend y'all place it more to the left, so you can abuse these peaks. I'll get more into that in a little bit, but it's gonna be so hard for raiders to get in and out. But I will say it's gonna be hard for you to seal your compound, so make sure if you don't want these, you can just use electric furnaces in your base or furnaces. I don't really like using large furnaces, but that's just for, you know, optional use. But going into these uh, one of three bedroom uh, lockers or bedroom areas with some raid peaks and def defense shits, whatever you want to call these. Uh, you got two upper boxes for each player. It doesn't matter. It's optional. You can put your boom in here, hide it in here, place a ladder hatch. So if a raider does like come in through here and they see a ladder hatch, where the fuck does that shit lead to? You know, I don't know. You can find a way to hide your loot. We got two beds for each player and then these nice little peaks right here, just like this. They're pretty nice to use, you know what I'm saying, for raid defense. It's really hard for raiders to, to you know, shoot you. If they do break the furnace, you can fuck them up with that type of peak. Or you can have the half fall on this side. It's optional. All right. But locker and small box, you know, on both sides. Now, one of the three ways into the base, like I'm going to go through this one. Taking a left, you're going to have, this is going to be your just all around China wall. So you have these nice little wide gap peaks right here. You can fit a bed, a box, all type of shit. It's optional, obviously. If y'all don't like that, it's completely up to you. You can fit oil refineries, mixing tables. You have more peaks overall. They're hella nice peaks. I look, you love these peaks for raid defense. I kind of like them more than roof because you're closer to the combat. If you want to go out there, grab the raider's boom, you got it. But you know, it's all, all around optional. And as you can see, it wraps around all the way to the door and another one of the three ways in. So I'm not sure if this is the way up into it. It is. All right, I got lucky. All right, going in through here, this is one of your three ways up into core. Now, I will say, there's only one way. So, like, so going up into this, and all of these, by the way, take you up to shooting floor. But just one of them takes you in a core. So, it minimizes the, the chances for raiders. So, going up to shoot, you know what I'm saying? You got, you went to your open core. You got a locker to your right. That's optional. You don't have to have that. Three bags for your shittier players. You know, you can fit a battery in there. You don't have to have a battery. You can just have this as a honeycomb box under research table. You can have a repair bench. Going up into here, you got three three uh, three furnaces. Up top, you got two boxes. Taking a right, this is your way down in the court. Another three bags for your shittier players. Workbench for tier two, and then more upper boxes. Now going into here, uh, opening both sides, you have a total of six and six, so 12. And then, you know, in here, you got a total of 21 large boxes. That's excluding smalls. Another another large battery place, and then if you're up here and you're the turret, right? Put yourself at the turret's place. You can cover this entire place. So let's say you're goofy and you leave all your doors open. First of all, anybody trying to get through your airlock will get fucked up, and uh, it should be able to overall keep your base safe. But anyway, going down into here into core, you have a upper small box that's optional. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You can have a, a double door here, but I would recommend single door. It makes it harder for raiders and let's say you're a raider up there you're gonna be all around confused this ladder hatch creates an airlock if you're wondering going into core you know what i'm saying you got take opening this door by the way you got four boxes your workbench tier three you're gonna have your main loop down here all right don't put everything down here because as a six man it will get compact and yes you can't fit a total of six bags in here 
I have done it, but I didn't save it like a goofball. Um, you can fit six boxes right here, another six boxes right here. TC's in there, I'll get into upkeep here in a sec, but let me show you how to seal the bunker. You don't need to t pick up the, the triangle just to seal the bunker, but you will place a, uh, you will have to pick it up just to, uh, to unseal it, so note that. But place a two-way triangle through there, grab this, this, uh, this, this spiral staircase, whatever, triangle, place it, as long as you see that L, you did it correctly. Um, once you place it, you want to upgrade it to whatever material you can. So I upgraded the high wall, and then boom, you see it's sealed. So. But let me show y'all TC, and then I'm gonna show y'all pixel gap. So picking up this window, you got this upkeep two rows and a little bit of metal and then this high qual if your base was fully high qual you're gonna barely reach oh you're gonna have a little under three rows of, or under two rows or yeah three rows my fault of metal but you're gonna have all these extra spots so this is why i'm saying this base is very sustainable for a for a uh, six man let, let alone a four man you know what i'm saying but let me show y'all um pixel gap so what you want to do is pick up this double door and then pick up this bag as y'all can see you got a total of two boxes down here i will say i have fit four boxes all right there's a way for this. I'll get more into detail once I show you how the tutorial, but this is the base from the open core. So going up into one of the three shoots, I'm gonna go take this shoot right here. It's gonna take you to your shooting floor and your bedroom floor. All right, or left. Taking a left, this will take you into your beds. So you got a total of four or six bags, beds up here. You can fit a total of like eight or nine, but I'm not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? That's, you don't really need that many beds plus this base, you do not want to run more than like a six man, unless you you customize your, the core in your own way, but it's optional. Um, you can fit uh, either a battery in here, a turret pod, whatever you really want. I kind of just gave you all the opportunity to just pick it however you like. But yeah, it all looks the same on each end, you know what I'm saying? You could just make this like a little, like seal this all off, make it like a triangle with walls and then have a fur uh, like furnaces in there. Optional, but taking one of the three ways onto the shooting floor let's go this way you got these nice wide gap peaks you know all over so they're pretty nice gaps you know what i'm saying get really nice coverage into your uh, your your compound some really tight peaks like right here you got some really cramped peaks i rate to have very hard time trying to shoot you um sorry for the lag uh but right here you got some more peaks i like using small boxes for some so you can stand or crouch spray and shit but you can fit, uh, what's it called, batteries up here, optional, you know what I'm saying? I'll get more into detail on that, but you got these uh, the roof retakes. I tried making shooting floor retakes, but with the way I built the base, it was kind of uncomfortable. But honestly, you wouldn't really need that, because um, it's going to be really hard for Raiders to even get up here. Uh, you got some nice ramp peaks, but going up one of the three ways onto roof, you got some more retake peaks. And then some more peaks over into the, um, what's it called, outside. So going up on a roof, you got a total of three turrets. Now there was a uh, turret nerf. They made it so it's 12 turrets per 40 meter radius. I tried tried bypassing it some way, couldn't find a way. I mean, if you're like an electrician in this game, like a professional, you got that. But you got these nice little, nice little mountain roof peaks. I would call it that, but, you know, some people don't like that. I don't really care. You can have it so like it's like this but it's obviously optional for everybody you know what i'm saying but if you really like it like that you can do it just just imagine how the whole base would look like like this all right so what you want to do is start off with a low triangle foundation another low square foundation and then two raised triangles just like this like a little star so what you want to do next is this is where your tc is going to go so place two walls a roof and then this side you want to place a half wall a wall another wall right here and a roof right there so now what you want to do is seal this shit off, place a half wall and a frame. You're going to rotate this back this way sooner or later, but that's when you upgrade it to metal or high call. Um, let's just continue. So your TC is going to go right here, place like a temporary twig. Um, this is where, this is going to be upgraded anyway later, but let's continue. Uh, you got a half wall right here, place a triangle frame, break this, and then move the TC as far left as you can so you can easily upgrade it later. Try that again. Just like that, upgrade this, and then you can upgrade this now, but honestly, it's going to be tough to place this ramp. I'll get into more into that here in a sec, but place your frame for your TC. You can use this as a starter, bags, boxes, whatever you got to do to get started. Um, but yeah, let's continue. So I'm not going to just show y'all the starter. It's kind of just how y'all, how your ball rolls, you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, you're a six man, so you should be able to get the full base down and like for this part of the base down really quick. Start off with another square foundation, a race triangle on both sides, wrap around walls, half wall right here, full wall, fill less me place. And then you know just seal that shit up like you did with the other one. This one actually I'm gonna rotate it because it's going to get rotated eventually. Place a window here, a wall here, and uh, that's what it should look like. But you're gonna you're gonna place a temporary uh, triangle right there. And then boom, that's what it looks like. But obviously the ramp and the triangle and now two loot rooms. We're gonna continue. So what you wanna do next is facing outward, you wanna place a race triangle foundation on both sides. This side you're gonna place a door, this side you're gonna place a frame and then place walls on this. This server is so laggy, my fault y'all. Just like that. All right, so let's continue and start our pixel gap. So you want to go two squares out with twig and then five squares. So one, two, three, four, five, place a square, cap it off. And then, you know, break all the twigs, come back with squares until you're here. Make sure you're placing it from this side, the outside, not the inside. So like this, break these outer twigs, upgrade this. Um, and if you see a gap, then you did correctly. If you don't, do it again. It's a half wall, a full wall, seal off your roof. And then boom, this is your core. But let's let's make a temporary airlock, so upgrade to wood. The, the uh, single door frame and the, the roof. Upgrade those two to wood. And then yeah, let's uh, let, let me show you how the box placement. So what y'all want to do is make sure when you're placing the box, there's a gap between the half wall, or make, there's a gap between the foundation and the box. If you don't, you're going to not be able to upgrade the foundation, all right? So make sure that there's this gap between the two. Now, the box and the half wall, don't even worry about it. It won't it won't be a problem, all right? It's just for some reason there's a glitch. If the box is touching the foundation, it will not allow you to upgrade the foundation. So, now what you want to do is place a triangle right here. Obviously, place your frame. And then right here, you want to place the, the floor from this side. So make sure you're looking at this wall when you're doing it. And if you don't see a gap, then just replace one of the two and it should work. But you see that there's a gap right there. Perfect. You got you got a pixel gap now. You know what I'm saying? Let's move on. It's going to be your airlock right here. Once you're ready to move on, you know, let's uh, let's continue and let's honeycomb this shit. So what you want to do now is uh, uh, what you want to do is come outside and make sure this foundation right here, if you're really worried about upkeep, upgrade this to metal. Honestly, I recommend y'all upgrade to metal anyway. Like it's very important. Um. Honestly, just that foundation, really. Like that's the only one, cause that's the foundation that is gonna. If you if that foundation breaks, your pixel gap boxes break. So make sure you upgrade that to metal. Um, now what you want to do is place this uh, foundation right here. This you're going to have to upgrade this to high qual because later you won't be able to. Um, and there's a reason why high qual, cause that's your boxes and your pixel gap. If you're really worried about those boxes, make sure you do that. All right. But let's continue. We're gonna honeycomb our base. So. Honestly, this is optional. You don't really have to because you will be able to upgrade this later. Um, but everything else should be good. So low foundation, raise foundation, raise foundation, low. It's a pattern. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. Perfect. Um, I will say the TC foundation. So I right, you can't upgrade it. I'm bugging. All right. This foundation right here, you will be, or this half wall, you will be able to upgrade. So don't worry. Um, so just honeycomb these. Don't worry about it. Uh, this triangle right here, you won't be able to upgrade. I'm not gonna say that for everything. It's kind of just obvious. If y'all don't want to place, if y'all don't want to, you know, if y'all aren't worried about upgrades, then don't worry about those. All right. Just wrap it around with walls, and then last, last wall I'm about to say you can't upgrade is this one. I do 100% recommend you upgrade this one and just this one only, because you don't want to have that one bit of uh, honeycomb that's stone and makes it cheaper. Because that's the triple layer honeycomb part of the base. So just letting y'all know before you know you build this base so what you want to do now is soft side these two place your wall place another wall up top right there just like that and make a little room boom so this is what it should look like you can place a furnace to jump up and down like that and then boom it's very easy to get up and down from it but yeah this is your starter right here you know what i'm saying uh from this it's honestly optional if y'all want to move on to straight to the um what's it called uh, straight straight onto the um, what's it called expansion you can it's I'm gonna put a keyframe up on the screen if you don't want to uh, Let's continue with the base design and then you will do it later But let's move on so what you want to do next is you want to place uh, coming out the jump up Place walls just like this a roof on top of that and then half walls and then cap it off with a floor up top 
So it should look like this, like a little room. It's a half wall right here and a frame. So boom, now you can just, like a little sectioned off area. Place a floor right there, because there's gonna be eventually a, 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 little, a little loop pod for two boxes. And then this is obviously gonna become a battery slot. So should just should just look like that, perfect. Um, we're gonna move on to finish the whole open core. There's gonna be a, uh, the airlock to your base. I'll get into that in a second. But what you're gonna do next is place walls, just like I am. And then this is gonna be your airlock right here. So it should just look like this, like a star, and then this little extra bit, which is your airlock. Now we're gonna try to seal this off as soon as possible. So I'll show y'all the jump up here in a sec. I know I'm showing it a little late. Just copy exactly what I'm doing, just like this. It should look like this. Now what you wanna do is your half wall. So um, I'll get more into depth here in a sec, but just place your half walls. This is your open core bit. Um, this part you actually won't have to, same with this. So these, these are all the half walls you really have to have. Then cap this all off so you can make this a little, a little secure part of your base. Now the only way into your open core is through this airlock, which the jump up I'm about to show you guys right now before I finish the open core. Um, place these two foundations just like this. Place a single door on the right, and then on the left place a wall. Raise that shit up twice, so it's once, and then one more time just above that. So now we're gonna do the jump up part, so temporary half wall. Place a floor, triangle, you know, frame, just a just a regular old, you know, shenanigan. Place another frame, jump up here, floor. Now right here, you're going to make a honeycomb bit, so make sure you honeycomb that. Um, and boom, jump jump up here, place another floor, frame, seal this off. Now you can place a door here, so, you know, no one just gets straight into your base, but it's what it should look like. It's not that greatest, you know what I'm saying, but it's temporary, all right? So, you know, place a door up here, let me show y'all. Sorry for the lag. Place a double door. You know, coach, garage door, whatever you really want, but it should be secured. Now, I'm gonna show y'all real quick how to finish the um, the open core part. You know what I'm saying? Just get the shit over with as soon as possible. What y'all do wanna do is, let me show y'all, seal up this part. So, this is where your furnaces are gonna go. Let's say you come in straight from the airlock first. Let's get started from the airlock, all right? So, you wanna run into a wall so no one soft slides into your loom. So, place a half wall up top, floor, and then your, your frame right here. So just like that. Now you're obviously your window for your battery. Honestly, you could just seal this shit off completely or have a door here for a locker, but you can also put a locker right here, so don't worry. But I kind of just like to have a spot for whatever I really want. A frame right here, so when you jump up, boom, your three furnaces. Um, I'm gonna actually place those right now. Three furnaces, now up here, you're gonna have two, two, four boxes total. Coming down here, you got a window and then your little loot room. So here, what you wanna do is have a temp temporary floor. If it wants to place, both sides do this, break the temporary floor, you know, seal the shit off, place your boxes in there. Place them as far back as possible and lock these boxes, all right? Very important, so raiders don't loot it. Y'all get the idea. All right, so now right here, you wanna place these boxes like in a square. If y'all don't know how to do that, just do it exactly how I am. And then if you really want that campfire in the middle, make sure you place only two and then that. You can't place three boxes then campfire, all right? Just note that. And then, you know, it's very, very easy to do, but I'm just kind of stupid. I'm just rushing through this shit. Y'all get it. Um, place your frames on these. Your turret goes up there. Four, four boxes up top, another four boxes up top, and then two under on both sides. Four boxes right here. Two boxes up top, two boxes up top. Y'all get the idea. All right, push your frame here, get that. But let's move on with the base. Um, let's go out the airlock, and I'm trying to go up further. But honestly, right now at this stage of the base, y'all probably should like do your expansions, expansion, so you can control your area. Um, I think I'm actually going to. I'm gonna set set uh, symmetry, so you guys, um, you know, so I can get all that shit done hella quick. But actually, real quick, let me finish all the jump ups. So I'm gonna just copy the exact same thing I did on all sides. So you remember three walls up and then your jump ups. Dude, this server lag is horrendous. I'm just saying, if you're practice building this base, do not do it on rusticated or you can GG, cause both of those are dog shit. They wanna, you know, not update their servers. I know I sound like a hater, but <laughs> y'all can see this shit real time. Like it's, it's so bad. Um, but yeah, just, just keep making the jump up, go up. Uh, 
one just like this. This is gonna be a half wall if you're wondering. So half wall is like right here. So make sure your base all looks like that. This is the top floor of your base. You're gonna see this part. Just make sure all the half walls are facing outward. Boom, you got the three just shoots coming up. Now let's finish off those shoots. So let's say you're coming up one of the three. Um, place walls on these two sides. A wall right here. Place a floor. And two frames facing inward. So boom. All these all these lead inward. Alright. Cap those off. And then you're going to have a frame to the right. And a single door to the left. Now when you go inside. Place walls all around. So it should look like this. I know I just kind of ran through that. But just by looking at it you should get the idea. Um, unless you're kind of stupid. But... I'm not calling y'all stupid at all, alright? Don't take it that way. But boom, it should look like this, like a little star. Um, obviously, three shoots going up. One of them being your open core, one of them not. But I'm going to real quick show y'all the, you know, this part of the base. So you want to place a wall facing the single door, a frame on the inside, and then obviously right here actually, my fault. I forgot to mention y'all. Uh, so let's say, alright. So right here, as y'all can see, um, the outside of this part, Wait, am I stupid? So this is your shoot coming up. All right, y'all get the idea. All right, so your shoot coming up. Um, you're going inside. This side right here is going to be a battery spot, or you can just leave it as honeycomb. So just do that. Optional. All right. But yeah, I hope I didn't overcomplicate that shit. You can also have a window here for turret pod or whatever y'all really want. I'm just put a window. It doesn't matter. But yeah. So. This is the main base. Um, let's do the expansion. So let's go out one of the shoots, starting off on any one of the shoots. You wanna go out one square, one triangle, and then go three squares out. Cap it off with a triangle, break all, this, all the twigs, come back with triangles till you're here. So you're pointing the base again with this triangle. Place a square on both sides, or honestly, it doesn't matter, just one side, and then place those two triangles, just like that. Now break everything besides this triangle and those two. Upgrade them so they don't decay. Should look like this. Now we're going to do the, the bedroom spots. So place a square and then two triangles on both sides. Um, upgrade them, obviously. And then now you're going to go to your TC spot. So obviously this is going to be your beds and shit. I'll get to that here in a sec. But you're going to go one, two, three, four, four triangles, a square, and then three triangles. This is where your TC is going to be. Um, so it should look like this now. Now what you want to do for your TC spot, place two half walls for your disconnectable. Walls wrapping around like an L shape like that. And then place triangles just like that. Upgrade those and then place two half or two uh, frames right there. Your TC is going to go here and now I do recommend every outer TC you upgrade just that TC part just like that. And then the inside you want to just leave it stone so don't trip. But you're going to have to place a window here and a door outside. So make sure you do all that shit exactly how I told you. So what you want to do, place a wall on the, the connectable, and then place a square off of the main TC, a triangle, and then off of this, place a triangle, and connect them, just like that. So do that for three sides, um, off of each uh, shoot. Now, you're going to notice, these are going to start to decay, so all you want to do just to stop the decay is place a frame here, and then just a double in the middle, just like that. Now, if you want to finish these right now, all right, all you have to do is uh, place a wall on these, and then what you want to do, window on these, place a, you know, actually don't do that part, you know, just like this. So two windows facing the base, and then two roofs, or two triangle roofs on those. And then what you want to do is place a single door on both sides, a frame right here. Then what you want to do is place your half walls. So just wrap around with half walls, like this. Triangles, just seal off like a roof, and it should look like this. It's a little room. So you can place your locker, whatever you got to do. And then make sure you place these. So a half wall or a, a triangle foundation, half wall, and then connect a, uh, a little triangle floor to it. So just like that. And then that gives you these peaks. And now it prevents players from just jumping in through the window. Now place these frames. You know, let's just finish this part of the base. Frame. Single door. Let me show you all what I just did. So going inside this single door, you got two single doors facing you. Going over here towards this single door, you got a frame, and then just place roof on those. But what we want to do next is two half walls like this, and another half wall right there in the middle. Cap those off with uh, two triangle floors. So it should look like this. I'm going to get more into detail for the shooting floor here in a sec, but let me show you all the other three disconnectable, or the other three t uh, wide gap peaks. All right. So now the side that's facing out, so as y'all can see, two squares can fit here. So obviously, here, here. Um, 
as long as you're on this side that's pointing outward place a square on one of the other sides but uh, so place a square triangle square triangle break these all right now go one two two squares out cap it off with a triangle break all the twigs come back with triangles so you're here pointing at the base again now what you want to do is very specific place a square on one of the other sides place these two uh, triangles upgrade them now you can break these two twigs all right so now you're facing this way now break all those twigs but leave this one it's very important this one right here specifically do not touch it all right now what you're going to do is on both sides place two triangles going out place squares like this so it should look like that break these twigs the the two triangles on both sides upgrade the squares and then reconnect it to this with this triangle so boom upgrade this and then you can demolish this twig so boom now as y'all can see you can't place these squares that's why i had you do it in that pattern um it's, it's not very complicated i just and i probably made it sound complicated it's very easy and quick if you're really doing it but all we're gonna do now is the gatehouse right here and then we're gonna do the outer side all right and then obviously we want to connect it to the gay house will place a frame here triangle off of the tc place a square triangle connect them just like that there you go now you're going to notice these four are going to start to decay so all you have to do to just stop that place a frame two, two uh, half walls just like that and then your windows off of those all right but you can also just do frames to make it cheaper for you but it doesn't really matter let's just uh finish the the whole outer part so what you want to do is uh place all these windows just like this so it should look like this they're all facing outward now you want to place these frames on the inside half wall right here in the, in the middle of this frame and more frames just like that boom so it should look like this um i'm gonna get to the gatehouse here in a sec i probably should have done the gatehouse first so that's my fault uh so off of each each one of these squares you want to go one square in towards the base just like that place triangles on top of this and then place your low walls facing that boom should look all all symmetrical you know what i'm saying every side should be done like this now let's do the gay house so um what you're gonna do is facing the outer tc place windows and then half walls on the inside just like this and then low walls on top of those now right here you want to place a frame break the half wall at the bottom make sure that was twig my, my fault i forgot to use twig place a low wall triangles on top of these and a floor right there now what you're gonna do is place your ramp facing that way roofs on both sides and then you can do this through this through the floor place half walls through it and then on the inside place them like that so they all should look like this all fit soft sides facing inward now you can place a ramp right here and then a floor on top to seal that off i recommend you use that ramp so it makes it easier for depot boxes should look like this so let's seal off your compound honestly you don't have to place this extra frame i just kind of like it for some symmetry now you should use outlook there's no specific there is a specific way to do it but it's, it's a little complicated and i don't really make the base symmetrical just use outlook and you can easily tell um i'll do it again on this side as y'all see i did that shit perfectly on that side i'm using outlook that looks about right see how that's a little off it's honestly it doesn't really matter but just you keep using outlook see how that's too far honestly i can see that that could work yep perfect there you go that uh, looks literally beautiful so 12 walls total that's very cheap um that's about equivalent to like a two by two expansion but let's just seal off the the um base's compound so just place two temporary triangles just like that and then your metal barricades just like that perfect there you go those that side sealed let's do this side perfect there you go now your compound sealed and you can finish expanding your base so here we go let's continue so now what we want to do make sure you got all your base uh white china wall complete let's place these uh roofs right here triangle roofs um make sure all the frames are intact so you got stability perfect all right now come up top you're gonna place uh you're gonna wrap around on these squares just frames now off of the main base with these empty spots just place triangles shouldn't be that big of a deal for upkeep um, and again, on these squares, place uh, frames, go up twice on all those. I don't know why I didn't show you on this side. So it should look like this with squares. Now on all these triangles, these two triangles, you have a total of six of them, all right? 
um, just place two frames on the outside bits and then one frame in the middle. Then what you want to do after that is place temporary half wall twigs on the inside and then have uh, these um, window frames facing outward towards uh, towards you. All right. So it should look like this on this side. Now I do the same thing on all six sides. All right. So again, in the middle here, a frame on the two outside of two frames and then obviously your twigs just like this. Rotate the window frame towards you. This is a place them like that. And then now you can just continue with your base. All right. Obviously you want to place these floors because you're not going to fall through those. There you go. It should look like this. We're going to keep moving up. So now you're on your shooting floor level so you can seal off your shooting floor. Now this is optional. You can have it connected to the wide gaps or connected to the base. I kind of like it to the base because you have better peaks, but it's optional for you guys. It doesn't really matter. Same thing goes for these. Um, overall, just seal your seal up uh, your, your shooting floor. It's just again, it's optional. It doesn't matter how the fuck you do it, but let's move on. So on these triangles, on all of them, you're gonna place these frames in between, and then your window is going up twice on everything. All right. All right, there you go. So boom, should look like this. Might look a little odd, but that's just how it is right now. We're going to make it look beautiful here in a sec. Now again, on all these uh, triangle parts, you want to place another little, little level to it. A frame in between and now here's where we decide something important so coming out from your shoots I kind of like having my the way up to my roof roof right in front of the door so I like to have the frame and obviously this is just the way up to the roof your roof is gonna be right there so I like to have it like that and then the shoots or the roof retakes I like to have them on the more awkward spots so just like this all right that's optional again completely however y'all like uh, up here, I'd like to place these frames for more stability. And then, obviously, coming up here, you can just seal off your roof. I forgot to do it right here. Hold on, my phone. The roof is the easiest part. It's just however y'all really like it. Now, um, I like to have all my uh, attachments to the base instead of like outside like this because you get these nice little roof, uh, what's it called? Heli peaks. They are really convenient. And not only that, let's say somebody has control of your roof. They, they'll have also control of your shooting floor. So I recommend y'all have it connected to the main base. It might bring up upkeep a little bit, but don't forget this base is the cheapest six man base for upkeep you'll ever find. I promise you this shit is very cheap. Do not underestimate. Um, but now let me show y'all one more thing right here. Obviously you could have left this honeycomb or you could just make it some more little lockers or whatever you really want. But let's go up to roof. And let's seal off your roof with these roofs. I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> seal off your roof with roofs. But you obviously want to place these just like that on all the triangles. I'm going to just place them on the outside because it's easier for me. But y'all can do it just as easily as me. Um, I'm, just, I'm just a little lazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you, you can't tell, but you know, fuck it. There you go. That's what it all should look like, your mound roof. Now, it's optional. You could have it like this. I showed y'all previously. Um, I don't prefer it. It's it's lucky pretty nice to have because you get some nice peaks, but I like the mound roof because um, you get more covered, but you do have less less variety of peaks. So note that, but you know it's optional. It's however y'all like. But yeah, this is the full base tutorial. I hope I didn't miss anything. I know I didn't show y'all the placements for everything, but this video is already pretty long. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the SAM sites and the windmills. <laughs> your sam sites go here your wind turbines go up there i do recommend more wind turbines but honestly three is all you'll need um but yeah this is the full base tutorial it looks menacing um let me just fly through real quick show y'all i know it's all out of stone so it's not as beautiful you got everything you really need all right we are if y'all enjoy this video you know what i'm saying all right, well, if y'all enjoyed this video, drop a like and a comment. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if, if, uh, if I did if I did it how y'all like it. But, yeah, um, one more time. If y'all want to see how you, how you seal the bunker and unseal it, just place a temporary twig through this. I don't know why, that, why that's there. Don't mind that. All right, I'm going to show y'all one more time how to seal the bunker. But what you want to do is place a twig through there. Come outside. Boom, boom. There you go. Bunker sealed. Um, and, yeah. That's it. I recommend y'all get to armor because your core is about to be armored. But 
you know, we buff. There's no countermeasures to it, so don't worry. Nobody will raid it, but yeah, just break the twig to unseal it. And this is the base tutorial. Um, let me know what y'all think about the base tutorial. If any improvements uh, in the comments, I read them. I promise you, I'll get back to you. Join the Discord server for more. Um, and yes, if y'all want to see more base designs, <laughs> I got a couple of my sleeves. Like I said, this is like in my top 10, but I wouldn't say my top five. I got some, some crazy ass bases here. You know what I'm saying? Triax, I don't know about this. I don't know if I should post that. It's a little too broken. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get shit on by some six to nine mans. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all want to see that, drop a like, drop a sub. And if I see some progression in my channel and I see some support, I've already gotten hella support from that last vid. I will definitely 110% drop a, drop a tutorial for those. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Good luck.